A very interesting idea, Jaron. Walk us through it. I buy something from Target or one of the other vendors with whom you work, and then I drive there. You have someone walk the stuff I bought out to me. That's right. We make it really easy to buy the stuff you need on your phone. Uh, we have it ready. It's fast. And as you pull up to the curb, because you bought it on a mobile device, we notify staff you're on approach. We uh, walk it out, we put it in your trunk, and you're off and on your way in about 20 seconds. So my initial thought is, how do you get all these people at the stores that I want to visit? How do we get all... We uh, work with really great retailers to um, help them deliver a curbside fulfillment option, and people have been loving it. Uh, it's saving time, especially during the holiday season. Everyone's in a rush, so it's a, it's a quick way to get the stuff you need fast. I got it. So if I go to Target and buy a bunch of uh, bath towels, it's not a curbside employee who's waiting there to bring me my stuff, but someone from Target then just comes out and gives it to me. Got you. Right now, curbside employees are bringing it out to the curb. What you'll see in 2015 is that we'll be handing these programs over to retail partners who'll be doing the fulfillment around the country. Right, because otherwise you'd have to send people uh, to different stores all around the place that sometimes maybe just hang out there all day. Yeah, and that would probably make us one of the largest employers in the U.S., which isn't, isn't our aim. We're, we're a, a software company enabling a great curbside fulfillment option. So, but how many delivery people uh, do you, curbside delivery people, do you have out there now? Probably about 65. And what stores are we talking about besides Target? So we're working with uh, Westfield right now, and uh, there's a mall in San Jose where we're enabling about 20 stores, uh, Sears, Coach, uh, you know, everything down to C's Candy. And we're gift wrapping right now for the holidays, too. So through the app, you can say, hey, I want my stuff. I want a gift wrap. We'll have it ready in about an hour. You just pull up to a single curbside location at the mall, and we'll have all your gifts loaded in. So it's great if you're trying to get your last minute holiday shopping done. I got it, and very helpful to you, uh, the whole mall concept as well, because you can cover that many stores. Um, when do you go national? When do you have uh, people doing curbside delivery at every Target or every Westfield? So you'll start to see it roll out throughout 2015. Uh, we expect to be in a whole bunch more markets in the first half of 2015 and adding a whole bunch more national retailers as well. So what kind of national retailers are you looking at? I mean, uh, is it big box stores that you're mostly focused on? Right now we're focused mainly on big box. I wish I could announce some of the names that we have coming, but there's a bunch in the pipeline. You could just give us a hint. <laughs> uh, big box consumer electronics. Do they wear blue yeah, shirts? Yeah, you might. Right. Yeah. Stay tuned. Definitely. All right. So what, what are you, uh, your plans for growth? I mean, we were just talking with uh, Google Ventures, President Bill Maris. Um, what, is, what do you look for uh, in terms of funding and, and, and in terms of timing for growth of curbside? Yeah, we recently uh, closed around in uh, the, about halfway through 2014. So we're, we're well financed right now. Uh, I expect, you know, we've had a fair bit of interest, so I expect we'll probably raise again before the end of 2015. And, I mean, obviously, uh, you're backed by Bill's big boss, Eric Schmidt, and, uh, and by Jerry Yang as well. We were talking with Bill about exits. When do you start to think about an IPO? And is that the kind of thing that you think about maybe later on in your, uh, in your company life than you would have, say, five, ten years ago? I, um, I, don't, I don't have specific timing on IPO, but it's our goal to, bi to build a very large independent company with Curbside. I, I sold uh, my last company to Apple, uh, and that was a really great experience. But with Curbside, we see a huge opportunity. Uh, we think mobile commerce is uh, different than e-commerce, and there's an opening right now to help people shop on the go. So this is something that we do see as, you know, eventually going IPO and, and being very, very large. Well, we've seen other companies do similar, uh, have similar apps. For example, Starbucks, I guess you can now order your coffee before you get there and just walk in and pick it up. I know our Olivia Stearns is looking at uh, covering uh, the last mile and how important that is to a lot of companies to get those goods the very last, uh, very last mile to the customer. Um, is that the idea? I mean, do you see it growing beyond just curbside? delivery? Yeah, we, we think that the, the technology we've built uh, to alert stores that you're on approach it has a really broad range of applications. And we've started with retail because there's a really big opportunity there. But we've solved a hard problem of 
alerting uh, you know stores, restaurants, etc., to a consumer approaching without draining the customer's battery. And I think that there are all kinds of possibilities and interesting ways that this rolls out. You know, gre greeting a customer by name, for example, is a really um, interesting and kind of warm experience that uh, we've had a lot of people reaching out to us about.